This video will cover PCMRP's interface QuickBooks. Basically, PCMRP QuickBooks interface allows companies to continue to use QuickBooks for accounting and implement a major MRP system such as PCMRP. So basically, this is how PCMRP's interface works. Sales orders and invoices are entered into PCMRP. The invoices are exported over to QuickBooks. Accounts receivable is debited and business income is credited for the amount of the sale. If PCMRP is configured to use perpetual accounting methods, it will also debit the cost of goods sold and credit inventory for the cost of the sale. Purchase orders and receivers are entered into PCMRP. The receivers are exported over to QuickBooks as bills. If the part received is an inventory part, inventory is debited and accounts payable is credited for the actual cost. QuickBooks is used to pay the bills, receive customer payments, and print out the financials. PCMRP is integrated so tightly into QuickBooks that if I edit a part number by selecting Modules, Inventory, Edit, entering the description of a part, let's see, BE for bearing, click on Search, press the OK button, and select the QuickBooks tab. I can set the QuickBooks accounts to be debited or credited when this part is invoiced or received. These accounts I'm displaying are actually from QuickBooks and not from PCMRP's own chart of accounts. I'll return to the main menu by clicking on the OK button and the Finish button. So let's look at exporting invoices from PCMRP to QuickBooks. I will click on Modules, Invoice, Print, Single, Display, Custom, and OK. I'll max the screen by clicking on the full screen box and adjust the screen a little bit so you can see the totals. The invoice has 10 wheels for $1,000 a piece, 10% discount, 10% sales tax, and $10 in freight for a total of $9,910. I'll close this screen by clicking on the X box at the top right of the corner of the screen. No, I do not want to print out or display a shipper. The accountant can export the invoices to QuickBooks by clicking on Optional, QuickBooks, and Export Invoice Records. Pressing the OK button will export all open invoices that are not marked as complete and have a batch number of zero. So let's press the OK button. For each of the invoices exported to QuickBooks, PCMRP will ask QuickBooks, do you have this part number? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export the part number and description to QuickBooks. Do you have this customer? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export the customer to QuickBooks. Do you have this sales tax entity? Do you have this class? And so forth. Until it finally asks QuickBooks, do you have this invoice? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export that invoice to QuickBooks. PCMRP will move on to export all the remaining open invoices with a batch number of zero to QuickBooks. Once the invoices have been e exported to QuickBooks, they'll be marked in PCMRP with a batch number, preventing them from being exported to QuickBooks again. Now let's take a look at QuickBooks. We can locate the new invoice by selecting the Customer Center, selecting the Customer, Allied Electronics, and selecting the invoice, V120024. Double-clicking on the invoice allows us to see the invoice, whose subtotals, discounts, freights, and tax match PCMRPs exactly. Close the invoice by clicking on the X box at the top right corner. Select the invoice again and press Ctrl-Y. This allows us to see the splits. Let me move the screen to the right. We have debited AR and credited business income, freight income, and sales tax payable. I'll close the invoice by clicking on the X box at the top of the screen. I will now select the journal entry and press Control Y to see the splits. PCMRP debited cost of goods sold and credited inventory. The gross wage account and overhead accounts were credited because in this particular case inside labor and overhead were included in the bill of materials. Let's close these windows and return to PCMRP. When a PO is received by PCMRP, a person receiving the PO prints out the receiver, staples it to the packing list, and sends it to accounting, where the accountant will keep it until he or she receives the vendor's invoice. She will then compare her documents to see if the tax, freight, and total of costs match up with her documents and match up to the vendor invoice. For example, if the accountant sees that the freight is missing on the receiver, she or he will edit the receiver by selecting Modules, 
receiver, edit, enter the receiver number, hit the search button, and press the OK key. In this case, she will enter $10 for the freight, and she'll also enter the vendor's invoice number. PCMRP will not export a receiver over to QuickBooks without a vendor's invoice number. Therefore, I'll enter 2936 as the vendor's invoice number and press the OK button. Now let's take a look at that receiver by selecting Modules, Receivers, Print, Single, Display, and OK. I will max out the screen by clicking on the full screen and adjust the screen a little bit so we can see the totals. 10 bearings at $10 each, 10% sales tax, 10% discount, $10 for the freight, a total of $109. The accountant can export receivers to QuickBooks by clicking on Optional, QuickBooks, and Export Receiver Records. Pressing the OK button will export all open receivers that are not marked as complete, have a batch number of zero, and contain a vendor invoice number in one or more of the line items. So let's press the OK button. For each of the receivers exported to QuickBooks, PCMRP will ask QuickBooks, do you have this part number? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export the part number and description into QuickBooks. Do you have this vendor? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export that vendor to QuickBooks. Do you have this class? And so forth. Until it finally asks QuickBooks, do you have this receiver? If the answer is no, PCMRP will export that receiver to QuickBooks. PCMRP will move on to export all remaining open receivers with a batch number of zero to QuickBooks. Once the receivers have been exported, they'll be marked in PCMRP with a batch number, preventing them from being exported to QuickBooks again. Now let's take a look at QuickBooks. We can locate the new bill by selecting the vendor center, selecting the vendor, Kana Manufacturing, and then the bill, R000210. By double clicking on the bill, we can see the bill itself. Clicking on the Expense tab will show us the freight charges. Clicking on the Items tab will show us the items and the respective dollar amounts. Closing the bill by clicking on the X box at the top right corner. Select the bill again by pressing Control y will allow us to see the splits. We have credited accounts payable, debited inventory and freight. Let's close these windows and return to PCMRP. The receivers and invoices can be exported to QuickBooks whenever the accountant wishes. The accountant can also configure PCMRP to export invoices and receivers to QuickBooks during the evening by selecting Configuration, Schedule Administrative Tasks, and Define Schedule. Check Export Invoices to QuickBooks. Select Daily, Uncheck Saturday and Sunday, enter a start time of say 2200, which is 10 p.m. at night. Now, let's check Export Receivers to QuickBooks. Select Daily, uncheck, uncheck Saturday and Sunday, enter a start time of, say, 22.30, which is 10.30 p.m. at night. To save these tasks, I'll click on the OK button. I'm now going to press the Cancel button, as this is just a, a test copy. You must then leave this computer on at night with PCMRP running and PCMRP's main screen displayed as you see it now. As you can see, up in the left-hand corner of the PCMRP screen, this computer is now scheduled to perform tasks at night. Well, I hope I've shown you that you can implement a major MRP system and retain QuickBooks as your accounting program, and without any double entry. If you have any further questions or you'd like to have a live remote in demo, please call us at 408-226-7321. That's 408-226-7321. Thank you.